The Torah portion of Miketz, if I had to translate it literally in modern uh, translation, I would call it the wake up and smell of coffee Torah portion. Um, I think it has a rude awakening for each and every Jew, uh, generation through generation. Um, and I also think that inside this Torah portion of wake up and smell of coffee, Miketz, we have embedded the two rabbinic holidays, Hanukkah and Purim. I'll explain. But let's first start with a fascinating or a very odd uh, interaction between Joseph and the brothers. So we remember what happened, right? We threw Joseph into a pit. He was sold. He reaches the depths, the lowest of the lows in Egypt. He then rises up to become the Stanley Fisher of Egypt. And now the brothers, you know, uh, Yehuda, Shimon, everyone else, like the rest of the world, because there is a famine, are all coming to Egypt to ask for some, you know, something to eat, for some latkes. And, um, and in a weird interaction, right? The brothers have come like everybody else in the world. And yet only with them, when they say we'd like food, Yosef says, you don't want food, you're spies. Now, this is odd. Why is he blaming them for being spies if they're doing what everyone else is doing? Hold that thought. Let's go back to Hanukkah and Purim. I think there are two, if you ask me, there are two important lessons in Hanukkah and Purim, and they're the only important lessons for Jewish people to remember. What is the important lesson of Hanukkah? If you ask me, I don't think Hanukkah is about uh, assimilation. I don't think it's about miracles. I think it is about the importance of Jews being united. Let's not forget, Nebuchadnezzar, the only reason the Greeks came and destroyed Israel is because of two brothers who fought over who gets to be Kohen Gadol. When we are more interested in respect and, and internal fighting of who gets what, we will be destroyed. The lesson of Hanukkah is to be united in Judah and Maccabean. When, when the Maccabeans are united, anything is possible and God uh, uh, prevails and miracles happen even with a little uh, you know, can of oil that lasts for eight days. That's Hanukkah. Be united. What is the story of Purim? Um, by the way, it's clear that these two Torah portions are related to what's going on here because you know, Miketz is connected to Hanukkah because we are celebrating Hanukkah as we speak, right? Happy Hanukkah. So it's clear that there is a spiritual connection. And Purim, I don't need to tell you about sages who have found fascinating parallels between the Yosef and Paro story and Megillah Esther, Esther and Hashverosh, right? She skyrockets, he skyrockets, a ring is given here, a ring is given there. Uh, there is a clear spiritual connection also between Miketz and Purim. So if in Hanukkah we learned about uh, the, the importance of being united as a Jewish people, in Purim we learn about the importance of not to assimilate. And what does assimilation mean? It means Jews must not forget their calling. It means not to forget that we are not a chosen people because we are special. We are chosen people because we have been given a burden upon our shoulders. We have a certain job and it's something we have to perform. Not to forget our calling and to always be united. How do we find this in this odd question, Yosef, this odd interaction between Yosef and the brothers and him accusing them of being slaves? How is this connected to calling the cats the wake up and smell the coffee Torah portion? A Midrash tells us that uh, there is a reason why Yosef blames them for being spies. It is because each and every brother entered into Egypt through a different gate. Yehuda came from one gate, Shimon from another, Levi, and so on and so forth. And Yosef already knew he had guards ready, so he basically said to them, I know what you've done. You each came in separate gates. You were all not united. And now you're coming as one telling me your brothers. Why didn't you come in together? If you like what Yosef is crying symbolically, what he wants to tell them is, why weren't you united, you united by, back then? Why weren't we all united if we were all united once? None of this would have happened. And the fact that they, this is Hanukkah, right? United. And the fact that they don't recognize him because he looks like an Egyptian, right? Another problem is this, this symbolic for this Jewish calling for forgetting who we are and we don't know who we are. We don't look like we should. And this, I think, is this, this interaction between them connects between the Hanukkah and Purim, between the important lessons that we learn in Parashat Miketz to wake up, smell the coffee, and remember always to be united and never to forget our calling. My take on Miketz, um, Shabbat Shalom and Happy Hanukkah.